gonna show you how to double your book sales using Shopify and KDP because it's time to get to the bag, sis, period. And I know you probably like, girl, why would I sell books on both Amazon and my own Shopify website? See, you doing too much. I know, I know. But go ahead and pull up a chair. It's a few seats down here in the front of the congregation, so don't be a stranger. Come close. And before your seat gets too warm, I'm gonna go ahead and pass the collection plate around. Don't worry, I'm not asking you for any money if you'll just like this video so that I know to keep putting out more content like this. If you're new here, I'm Latoya Nicole, and in 2018, God told me to publish a book. So I published my very first coloring book, that grew into a multi six figure coloring book business. So now I teach entrepreneurs just like you how to establish and expand your author brand through my entrepreneurship program at Book Bag University. So, first of all, let's talk about Shopify. Shopify is an e commerce platform where you can sell your books online. It provides you with everything you need to set up and manage your own online store from customizable storefronts to secure payment processing to marketing tools. I love Shopify because it enables you to be able to build your brand and create a unique shopping experience for your customers. And then with Amazon KDP, which stands for Kindle Direct Publishing, it's a self-publishing platform that I use to publish paperback books, such as my coloring books. You can also publish children books, journals, workbooks and similar books and so basically the process is you upload your book which is done using two pdf files your interior file and your cover file then you set your prices and you're able to reach a global audience selling anywhere in the world plus you earn royalties of up to 70 percent on your book sales so it really is the perfect option for self-publishing. So how did I leverage both platforms to double my book sales? It really was all about using strategy and knowing the pros and the cons of both platforms so that I would know exactly how to drive sales to Shopify and how to drive sales to KDP. So when I first started selling my coloring books, I set up a Shopify coming soon page. So I went ahead and I entered in my email address and all the information that it was asking me to set up the back end of my Shopify store so that I could start collecting email addresses of my potential customers because I hadn't released the book yet. I was going to Facebook and I was driving traffic from Facebook to my Shopify store. And I did this using Facebook groups. I would do side by side, just showing snippets of some of what I thought were the best images inside of my book. So like I took two of my favorite images and I put them side by side and I was like, hey guys, I'm getting ready to release a coloring book. Can y'all help me figure out what the cover image should be? And I said left or right. And so people were saying left, people were saying right. Then some people were saying both. And they were like, girl, how can we find out about this book? When they would ask me how they could find out about the book, I was driving all of the traffic straight to my Shopify page so that when I released the book, I would be able to have those email addresses that said, hey guys, I just released the book, super excited. Go ahead and go to Amazon. So I would drive the traffic to my Amazon page because I wanted to become a number one bestseller on Amazon. So what I did was I had a lot of traffic go to my book as soon as it was released. So I sent out the email. I also did a post on Facebook um, in the Facebook groups. And I did a post on my regular Facebook page where family and friends are. So you know they're going to support you. So once I started sending all the traffic to Amazon, Amazon's algorithm loved that because it means that you are supporting their platform. When they see that and your book starts making sales, they automatically raise you up on the platform. So whenever someone is looking for your type of book, your book will be pushed up higher in the sales rank because the goal is to get your book on the first one or two pages depending on what keywords you choose for Amazon. So when I, when I released the book and I sent all the traffic to Amazon, I got up the next day and my book said number one bestseller. I was like, what? So I was able to leverage both Shopify and Amazon in that scenario and you can do the exact same. So once my account got terminated, I was like, oh no, I'm about to open up my Shopify store because I need to still be able to sell my books. I just happen to have a few author copies of my books because some of the people from my church wanted signed copies, so I had a few extra copies on hand. So I used those books to start selling from my website and once my account got reinstated with Amazon, I then went to my back end on Amazon and I ordered more author copies so that I would have some in stock so that I will already have books that I can ship out myself. You can actually order author copies directly from your KDP back end so that you'll have books in stock to ship when someone places an order in your Shopify store. And not only is it convenient for managing your inventory, but it's also good for events, book signings, 
and promotional items if you're sending books to influencers, for example. The pros of selling your book directly on Amazon is that Amazon handles all your shipping, your fulfillment, your customer service, all of that. All you do is split the royalty payment with them and you get a share of the royalty, they get a share of the royalty. But when you're selling on Shopify, you have to ship your own book. So yes, it can be a little more work because you're now having to get packaging and things like that, but you get to keep the bulk of your money as well. So both of them balance out and they have reasons that you would want to do both. But for me in my situation, my biggest reason was to diversify my income so that all my eggs would not be in one basket. And when it comes to the difference in cost on both of the platforms, you can publish on KDP for absolutely free. Shopify does have a monthly subscription, but if you click the link below that I'll leave in my description, then you can sign up to Shopify for free and then get your first three months for just $1. And plus you get to make your store real pretty and branded so that people know, okay, this is this brand and they can start associating you with your store. Plus with Shopify, you get to build your own audience, have your own email list, Stay in touch with your customers if you ever publish more books, which that is the overall goal. If you ever start to expand your brand and maybe add t-shirts or maybe add mugs or anything that complements your brands, you can add those things to Shopify as well, whereas on KDP, you can only publish your books there. Like I even mentioned in this video, if you also sell coloring books like I do, then you can also make digital coloring pages and add them to your Shopify store to diversify your income streams even more. Essentially, you would just be using the pages out of your paperback book and adding them as a digital download. That way, customers can print them automatically and that gives them more options so that if they don't want a book, they can just print it directly on whatever type of paper they want and then color it and frame it. You know how they used to do back in the day when the kids color something and the kid think the coloring page is so great and they want to put it on the refrigerator with a little sticky magnet? You can do that if you want to with it. Just basically allows more options for your customers to be able to make the choice of what they want to do while still diversifying those income streams for you. So whether you're an established author that's been selling your book for years and you're just looking for a way to boost your sales or if you're just starting out on your publishing journey, Consider using the power of Amazon KDP and Shopify together because it can open up doors for new opportunities. You have more control over your audience and your brand building. You can diversify your income streams and you're not at risk of putting all your eggs in one basket by simply publishing your books on one platform. Let me know in the comments which platform you currently sell your books on and if you're considering selling on KDP and Shopify to increase your book sales. Let's say you want to go ahead and set up your Shopify store but you still want to go ahead and link your books directly to your Amazon page because maybe you're waiting on your author copies to come in so that you can ship your books. You need to know how to link your books from your Shopify store to your Amazon Amazon page. Be sure to watch this video next. And if you want to know other ways of diversifying your income stream, then watch this video next where I'm sharing how I've been able to build seven income streams for my Amazon KDP coloring book business. Oh, and one more thing. If you want a step-by-step -step process of walking through setting up your Shopify store, let me know in the comments. Okay guys, until next time. Bye-bye.